Hello and welcome to Dryedbox. In today's video we will be unboxing and demonstrating the new Dryedbox R1 NAS. Inside you have the R1 NAS which will show more detail in a moment. So you have the remote control, a power supply will include the right adapter if you're in a different country, an HDMI cable and a user manual in full English. So on the front you have the power button and the LCD panel uh, as well as showing the time it shows various other functions such as recording uh, and Wi-Fi and Ethernet status. On the side you've got the R drive bay which you can open this way and you can put in a three and a half inch R drive onto here then that inserts back inside. On the back you have dual Wi-Fi aerials You've got a uh, USB 2 port, RCA connections, USB type C, USB 3, Ethernet, a fan to keep everything inside cool, HDMI input and output, the power button, optical port and the power connection. On the sides you've got the SD card slot and on this side you've got a USB port. So what we'll do next is show you uh, the R1 NAS up and running. The R1 NAS home screen gives you very quick access to the most common features. For media you have Media Center and Kodi. There's a shortcut to the full list of apps, the HDMI input recording app and the settings. The list of apps include Google Chrome, Kodi, Google Play Store, Miracast and YouTube. By default Kodi 16 is installed but you can very easily update to the latest Kodi 17 via the Google Play Store. As you can see, at the time of recording this is the latest version of Kodi. It performs great on the R1 NAS, running all the latest software and playing up to 4K with no issues. One of the main features of the R1 NAS is the ability to record video via the HDMI input on the device. You can connect a games console, PC, laptop, Blu-ray or even another Android box to the R1 NAS and set up a recording. Please note that like all legal recording devices, the R1 NAS will obviously not record HD CP encoded video. The setup is very easy, you can change the recording resolution, format, frame rate and bit rate. You can also change the file location to save to the internal memory, hard drive, USB stick or SD card. You can then play back recordings with the media player or Kodi. Here is a quick example of what we just recorded. The second main feature is the NAS which stands for Network Attached Storage. This essentially provides a network file server which any devices can connect to for file access. Why would you want this? Well, for example, you can make a recording on the R1 NAS and then use any device such as your PC, Droid Box or mobile phone to watch the recording from anywhere. It is a central file server to keep all your media in one place and easy access to it. There's no swapping drives or memory sticks to other devices. Simply stream or download it from the R1 NAS. The R1 NAS uses OpenWRT which can be configured through the web browser. It is easy to use and within a few minutes you can have it set up and ready to provide media to your other devices. It is a great feature and really makes the R1 NAS stand out from the many other devices. Thank you for watching this unboxing and demo video. You can find out more information about the R1 NAS by clicking the link in the description.